Jojo has fun. You don't you don't know what this is off the top no. of your head, do you? This is not no, familiar to you. Okay. No, it is not. So, yes. I lived next to someone who was really super obsessed with this game when I was younger, uh-huh. but I never got super into it. And now you have but, like best friends that are uh, those same people that were super obsessed with it when they yeah. were kids. So, but I do, would just like to point out that for the first, for years, uh-huh. I was pretty sure that this was an anime. <laughs> You're not, you're not wrong, Kim. You're going to find out pretty quick. So this is... Here's what's happening today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to JoJo. Hey, everybody. Welcome to JoJo Has Fun. I don't know where JoJo is anymore. I can't remember the last time I recorded with JoJo. I, and my feelings aren't hurt, <laughs> but they are. <laughs> it's like three or four weeks ago. He needs to get his affairs in order, basically. Um, he's a busy guy, but we're going to get him back in for the big recording. So yesterday, which was Tuesday, the internet was surprised by uh, a, a demo of Final Fantasy VII the remake and what it is is it was a reimagining of this classic jrpg and the j stands for japanese so yes kim it is basically an anime it's a japan anime it's a japan anime so this game came out uh in 97 so this game is over 20 years old um wow. and recently what they not recently but years ago they announced that they are going to um redo it for like current consoles to make it prettier. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a pretty big deal because this game people kind of like put in their top three of all time games just because like usually the age that they were at when it came out just had more of the impact. Like I yeah, was like, so- I was 17 when it, well, not 17, I was like, uh, I was like 13 or 14 when it came out and like it's a big deal for me just because it's like that's what you played when you were a kid. So what you're saying is Wait, hold on. Was there a Final Fantasy 1 through 6? Yes. There's actually, there's been like 30 Final Fantasies. Um, There was 1 through 3 was on the regular Nintendo. 4 through 6 were on the Super Nintendo. And then this was the first Final Fantasy that was like on the PlayStation. Okay, so that's the big deal. Yeah, it's like the first, at the time, the first next-gen Final Fantasy. Okay. So, like, all before right. it was all, like, cutesy little sprites, like, in Stardew Valley and shit, and now you got this game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play a couple episodes of the opening of this game, and then we're going to play a couple episodes of the remake demo. And the games, this game and the remake we're going to play open the exact same way. It's the same basic components, but you're going to... Except s- you wouldn't know that, because you didn't totally play this game already, nerd. I played both. I played the demo a couple times already. <laughs> what the hell's that? What's that little thing over there? Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and start. And really, Kim, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for your opinion. Okay. I want to know what you, th- what, do you think of, what do you think of this right here. First of all, way too many buttons. <laughs> and I mean, if it was a sex toy, I don't even know how that would work. I mean, you don't have L3 for boost for your sex toys? No. Okay. Well, I mean, when in Rome. So yeah. this game is a combination of a variety of different graphic type stuff. So you've got CGI movies that you can't control. You've got like battle system graphics and you got like running around graphics. The game doesn't look the same at okay. all throughout most of it. I hate to interrupt you yeah. when you're nerding out so hard right now. <laughs> Shut up. But you've got the cursor is on the screen and I don't know if it's in the recording or if it's in on It's just on the screen, but I can move it. Okay. All right. No, it's fine. It's just it's really annoying and doesn't belong there, but no, it's good. It's fine. It's uh, it's funny because we're on share screen. Oh, Kim, look. It's an anime. Are those white things sticking out of the side of her face ears? Because I can't be down with that. Uh, yes, they are. No, yes. they're not. No, no, no. no that, those are, the ones in the, the back are bows. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bow. Thank God, because I was just like, I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Kim, transport yourself to 1997. It's a year of slap bracelets and uh Oh, yeah. And no, highlights. my mind is blown. It's I remember, <laughs> I remember like really specifically my... I think that the part of the reason, and like I hate to like bring everything back to like sex, uh-huh. um, but like part of the reason that like Final Fantasy was such a huge fucking deal was it was like sexy, and you were like thirteen, so you're like, like I was, you know, you're allowed to like look at this stuff. Yeah, and it's like when your parents didn't know that certain cartoons were definitely not made originally for kids, like South Park. Like South Park, <laughs> yes, the sexiest cartoon that comes to mind. Yes, obviously. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm just thinking of a cartoon that like my parents watched finally saw a little bit of and they were like oh no (laughs) (laughs) my parents didn't have a real strong opinion of south park but they did have a strong opinion of of soul asylum the band for some reason (laughs) 
All right. So you can see there's a distinct difference between the graphics of those two little boys over there and the train. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. They're all realistic. Now, this game is not voice acted, Kim, so we're going to have to throw some voice acting in here. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, Mr. T's here? <laughs> you want to be Mr. T? Without being this, radically wait, offensive? Does, <laughs> does, does Japan think that all black men are Mr. T? Oh, just you wait till we get to the new demo. Just you fucking wait. He's oh, like, come on, come newcomer. On, newcomer. Yeah. Okay, you can be Mr. Follow T. Follow me. Okay, so this is me. This is us. <laughs> How do you like it? I like uh, the Popeye look that you got going on there. Yeah. He's got did you eat your Did you eat your spinach? Yeah, Is that why I did? I stored it in my forearms and my shoulders, but not in the biceps. I received a potion, Kim. So this game, if you've never played a JRPG, which we never really have for the show, oh no, um, you run around the world and then you go into quote unquote random battles, which then you use a menu system to actually do fighting. You don't get to like push x a bunch to like hit a dude you just have to like select the option hit a dude is okay. that is that exciting yeah it's pretty great yeah so in this game like i don't know i always like jrpgs because usually they had way more story than regular games at the time and i was a huge ass nerd that read like Anne rice books so it spoke to me yeah so our name is x soldier oh, yeah. oh our first blood trophy we got it sweet i leveled up amazing of course you did all right. So yeah, I just remember like the the art being really sexy, mm -hmm. and like the I remember the twirling of the sword being like, oh man, I can't believe they added that. <laughs> that tw that, sw that sword twirl? They had no graphics sword, for that. This what? Like, wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you fun in a group like Avalanche. Avalanche. Soldier, I'll say the enemy. It's not really sounds. What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was a soldier, Jesse. But he quit, and he's with us now. Wait till you actually hear the voice acting in the new demo, because they actually speak in it. Oh, weird. Yeah. I'm still going to talk over them. <laughs> There's no subtitles. Well, there are subtitles. I didn't, I didn't catch your name. What are we going to name our dude? Cloud is mm. his, like, lore name. But we can name oh, him whatever yeah, we want. Oh, yeah, lore name, Cloud. I'm going to do... Can we do uh, Wooliver? <laughs> what is it? W-O-L-A... V E R. What is Wooliver? It's a beer. <laughs> is it the beer you're drinking right now, Kim? It's the it's the glass of the beverage <laughs> that I'm drinking right now. Wooliver. Wooliver. It's an organic ale from Vermont. Well, I bought a uh, hard seltzer tonight instead of getting a regular beer because I am being healthy. Oh, what brand of hard seltzer are you drinking well, right now, Jeff? Healthy uh, true, boy. It's truly, it's truly hard seltzer. Ooh, yeah. truly. It's not the White Claw because I'm not selling out like the rest of you fucking plebs. But I actually, and I hate to be the guy that says this, uh -huh. I don't like White Claw very much. I don't, a lot of their flavors are like grapefruit. Who the fuck drinks grapefruit? But didn't you get some for like a party at your place at one I time? Did. Yeah, one of I the did. flavors was not good, but like the berry flavors are fine. The citrus yeah. flavors are not good. I don't care no. what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. The <laughs> hell you all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. That's Mr. T talking. Yeah, I'm aware. That's why I'm very <laughs> much not doing that. Oh, Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Doors open. Now we go. Yes. Ex soldier, huh? I don't trust you. <laughs> it's like a school play. <laughs> What's his name? His name is Barrett in the game. What do you want to name him? Doug. <laughs> Doug Barrett. At your service. All right. Select. Now he's got. Now it's Doug. We don't need to hear that. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, the game stuttered for a second there. It's having a hard time loading all these fucking pixels. Hopefully I didn't lose God, Kim. and the music is so good. Yeah, this is like... I had the soundtrack to this. That's how much of a fucking nerd I was for it. <laughs> all right, nothing over there. Wow, I didn't think that you could nerd level up anymore. <laughs> I had a poster on the wall, and I had a t-shirt, and the soundtrack. Um, so, this is a... Uh, 
that kitty cat hit me. Um, I, so here's the thing, and I want to ask you if it's creepy or if it's endearing. And the answer may differ based on, like, the age. So when I was a kid, all these games, you usually got to, like, choose the names of the characters. And I would usually name the girl characters after girls I liked in school. <gasps> really? Yeah. Would that be too creepy? At what age does that stop being cute and start being creepy at? Um... I'm going to say seventh grade. Okay. About when this game came out-ish for okay. me. Okay. Okay, so I was Because, well, I'm just thinking, so I'm basing my... Because I'm just thinking of, like, the the maturity of the relationships that I was in. And I feel like it really notched up. Maybe eighth grade max. Okay. But, like, by ninth grade, you're, you do not do that. Okay, okay. So I don't know how far into it I went. Especially, like, if it's a game where you know there's a specific girl that's, like, the love interest in the game, and then you name them after, like, the person that you have a crush on. Yeah. I mean, like, it's endearing, yeah, but I'd say maybe seventh grade it might have an issue with. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that. But also, like, because I feel like if you're doing that, you have, like, a pretty confident streak that, like, you're, she's never going to see this game. Oh, yeah, no. So, like, it's a, there's a relative innocence to it where, like, if, if I was playing, I'm trying to think of like House Flipper, yeah, I, I was, guess. Well, what if you were like playing I, like House Party and you could name all the characters in House Party? Yeah, I named every character Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and one Joe Biden, but not anymore. No, and I would not fuck that guy. Not, not anymore? Today. No. Not no. ever again. <laughs> He'd be my ex-boyfriend. You want to be Doug? Oh, Doug. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. So I don't know if you know any of the story yet, but it's coming. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. Yeah. It's the lifeblood of this planet. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. Uh, uh, did Was he just making like a jerk-off stick-sucking move? It's hard to tell because they don't have fingers. They just have club hands. They're basically like Minecraft characters. Mm, I like it. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Mm, that's my. That's also my come on. <laughs> All right. You come with me from now on. Don't mind if I do. Oh, God, he's in me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... This game. Also, that's uh, another one of my <laughs> taglines. Don't need a lecture. Let's get on with it. Oh, God, he's in me. He's in me. <laughs> <laughs> Those two things immediately happen one after the other. <laughs> There's usually stuff I could get, but I'm not going to waste time with it. I'm trying to get to, like, basically the meat of the game before. I'm trying to get to the. So the demo that we're going to play only goes to a certain point because it's a demo. So I'm trying to get to the point in the demo uh -oh. that in this game. Okay. So my name is my name is uh, Wolver, and that's Doug, and then that's Jesse. Little by little, the reactor will drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. I don't care. What else, bro? Not my problem, bro. The planet's dying, Wolver. <laughs> Wolver. Ah, uh, what else? The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the Robo Garbs show up. Uh, he wants to hit me. But he's going to go back inside me, so it's a complicated relationship. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to play more of this tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, guys, more Final Fantasy VII Classic Edition.